So maybe we can start now. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for joining this uh, online meeting. This is actually a consultation meeting. Uh, I'd like to change to share my screen with you because I have a presentation, a small slide. Okay. Can you see the, my presentation now? Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Thank you. I think I would like to acknowledge first the uh, participants. Wait. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I'd like to acknowledge first we have here Shanti from uh, Nepal. She's the. Um, She's, she's our uh, with gender, 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 gender uh, in the next school. We have Getri. She's also in charge of the women program in Kuku Indonesia. We have Mabel. She's the gender specialist. Mabel, hey, say hello. The, the gender specialist in Mabel. Uh, we also have uh, Sreka. Soreka is the CEO of Mapcox and she attended in our training program on uh, business development services for credit unions. We also have, who else? Uh, I cannot see the. We also have Anjali. Anjali is the former director of Mapcox. Um, we have. Uh, Sarita, oh, we have uh, Balav. Uh, he is also the project coordinator for the Women Big Business Development Center in Neptune. We have Miss Bin Kabal, who is the chief executive uh, of the training and consultancy unit of NATCO. Ernan is the training director of uh, PFCCO, who also attended the business development services. That's um, enough. Yes, uh, we have come on and come on and Kunkanya uh, or Miss Fan in our in AQ and Mr. Ranjit. Uh, we have we have Sash, Sasha. Uh, I think she's from the Sasha. I, oh, I think Sasha is uh, Rose. Am I correct? Rose from PFCCO. Yeah, and uh, Shanti from Nevskun. Did I miss anything? Anyone? Okay. So, so what? Um, meeting today. Well, we are this much. Okay. I am going to switch to the PowerPoint. Did I miss anyone? Lenny, I am here. Okay, yes, thank you. Okay. Okay. So this is our house rules. Uh, we would like to request you to mute the microphone if you are not speaking. Uh, okay. You can also, yeah. So we, we so that there will be no unnecessary sound. Uh, you can also raise your hand if you want to say something or unmute uh, when you want to speak. And then the online meeting is being recorded. Kamoni is uh, recording the proceedings of this meeting. Thank you so much for joining us in this meeting. This is very important. You have a very important role. Uh, there has been a lot of webinars that's going on, but uh, Akio is thinking that our webinar should 
leave something that uh, you can readily implement in your credit union. Uh, in fact, we have prepared a credit union guideline on the impact and response to pandemic. This can be expanded later on, not only to the COVID-19 case, but in the future where there is a pandemic that is going to affect uh, our credit union, this tool can, be, can evolve uh, to fit to the needs of the credit union. This is going to be the credit union business solution number 27. And um, the reason why we called you because Aki wanted to, to ensure that your opinions, because you are the ones uh, directly involved and in the credit union operation on the ground, it would be better to present this to you so that we get your input so that the, our outcome would be realistic and practical. Okay, the objective of our consultation meeting today is to validate the practicality of the credit union business solution, which is a guide for credit unions in their response to pandemic. Uh, this morning, I sent you the, the entire document I hope that you had time to read it, but if not, uh, we will also take time to explain uh, the, the document. Uh, at the end of this also session, we would like to update, to have an updated impacts of COVID-19 based on the actual experience of member countries. Uh, we also want you to share with us what are the tools that we can identify to support the recommendations that we put forward? Okay, I'll, I'll go on. Um, in the document that you receive, we uh, summarize the impact of COVID-19 to credit unions. And uh, there are areas in that document. Uh, there are three classification. I hope this is okay, because when we look at the credit union sphere of operations, it's definitely, first of all, we the impact is on our members. Right now, the credit unions, what the credit unions are doing are when the government locked down. Uh, our attention was focused mainly on the members. Uh, the members the members held, uh, members are losing jobs because there are many members in the credit unions who are wage earners. During the lockdown, there is no business. The most people who are affected are like uh, construction workers, uh, those who are providing services like laundry service, uh, parlors, and what else? Uh, those who are selling in the markets, vendors, maybe even the markets are open, it, the, 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 it's not business as usual. Uh, maybe they will also lose their assets. They will, be, there will be, they will be unable to access financial services because they have to go out to go to your credit union and uh, the digital channels are not readily available in many credit unions. Even in the Philippines, even we have Kaya payment platform. I don't think uh, many credit unions, many co-ops are using the, the Kaya payment platform. Uh, they may have the other channels, but still those are over the counter. And the sad thing is that Members of the credit unions maybe do not have emergency savings. When we talk about financial literacy, we talk about the standard, the rule of thumb, that every individual should have at least six months savings that is intended for emergency. So if they do not have these savings in their account, in your credit union, the members would be relying on credit union support for food or maybe government support for food. Um, this is 
something very difficult because if the lockdown is going to extend, maybe the government would not have sufficient fund to support their citizens. Yeah. So we also have employees. Uh, I'm sure that there is a discussion among staff uh, about job security and about uh, morale. Uh, the morale is down during this time. And there is also a challenge on the working from home. Uh, it's the environment uh, at home is a different from working environment in the office. Uh, they may not have internet connection or the unreliable internet connection because when they are working at home, uh, they definitely need to have a good internet connection because most of the jobs are now uh, carried out online. And also the health protection of the staff because I'm sure that the credit union was not totally closed down, uh, but the credit unions are also using skeletal force to operate. And then if that is the case, staff should have sufficient PPEs personal protective equipment in order to protect themselves because they still have to provide service face-to-face -to, -face to the members. On the institution side, okay, uh, this is something that the credit unions are not, have not expected, anyone have, have not expected that this is going to happen. And so maybe the disaster preparedness of most of the credit unions, particularly in Nepal, would be uh, disaster preparedness on earthquakes. And in the Philippines, it might be disaster preparedness on flood and typhoon, not health crisis. Uh, with regards to legal compliance, we have seen that in the Philippines, the regulators has come up with uh, some kind of uh, regulatory relief on the submission of reports and the conduct of annual general meeting. But there, in our previous webinar, there are also areas where we need to advocate to the regulators. Like for example, one case is that uh, the credit union should be declared as one essential service so that our staff of the the staff of the credit union would be able to travel from home to the office without being uh, checked because they are essential service as well, like the banks. Uh, the credit union now need to have the digital channels because uh, during the COVID, uh, credit union members should be able to access their savings using their mobile phone. Uh, there is a... Uh, um, area that we need to address because this is a lesson learned from the for the credit unions on the portfolio quality it's definitely impacted because we, members lose their job uh, members do not have cash flow they will definitely miss the payments and how the credit unions will treat on that uh, the share and savings mobilization I am sure that this time there will be no savings that will come to the credit union because this, the members' money are actually being used for them to, to survive on a daily basis. Um, everybody knows that institutional capital is very important. Credit unions, like for example, the access branded credit unions who have sufficient institutional capital according to the standard of 10%, we do not worry about them. But there are many cooperatives that has not, um, has not um, complied with the minimum standard of 10%. These credit unions need to be focused on. Um, with, in terms of the last one is the lending. Um, Credit unions may stop their lending now, but I think uh, they should continue lending to small entrepreneurs, especially after the lockdown, 
Uh, but when we lend to our members, we need to ensure that lending is not creating additional indebtedness, but lending is creating new jobs or new source of income for the members. I think I will stop on this so that we can reflect on whether all of, all of these challenges that I have mentioned is in the document. And uh, I would like to get an input from you, whether do we, did we capture everything that we are worried about in terms of members, employees, and institution? Okay. I, I stop on that. Uh, because that, that one slide is in the document that I have sent on the impact. Uh, my question is only that, have we captured everything in the document that I've sent you? Or you have any addition? Or how would you... And is there anyone would like to share? Have we captured everything there in the document? Uh, yes, ma'am, Lenny. I, I just uh, okay, balab first. Okay, balab. Yes, balab. Yeah, Go ahead. I just I just read uh, read the document thoroughly today. Uh, yes. So uh, I have found uh, many areas that have been covered by the documents. Uh, so. Uh, I think we still need to study one, two more time so that we can uh, uh, check whether uh, anything needs to be added there or not. So one thing I, I think, uh, there is a product designing uh, policy in the document. So um, I think that can be also included so, so that uh, our member uh, credit union can uh, just get idea how they can uh, design the product for uh, the period of, for the time like the pandemic. So that can also be added, um, like in a, in an annex. In my opinion. Mm -hmm. No. Yes, thank you very much, Balad. Is there anyone who would like to share? Yeah, Lenny, ma'am. Hello. Yes, Shanti, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, the document is uh, very nice, but uh, I'm not complete <laughs> to read and analyze this document. Uh, I think as we also uh, input some uh, points. some points uh, later. Uh, then uh, this this presentation this is very nice presentation. Member, employees, and institution. Uh, I think uh, in member side, uh, the the women or our SACUS member are lost their small entrepreneurship because of this lockdown and it is a very big problem to repay their interest uh, which we um, yeah, um, disburse the loan small loan so i think uh, a small entrepreneurship uh, also may be input in this uh, members view <laughs> member side <laughs> yes thank you very much uh, shanti that's actually what we would like to know from you uh, so then we will highlight that uh, in on on the ability to pay can you remember we have a portion in the document ability to pay the, because uh, the other portion is the challenge the challenge is the ability to pay of the members. So when we describe the ability to pay of the members, we can put one area in there that the women entrepreneur are more affected 
because they lost their, they closed down their businesses. Am I correct? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes ma so that is a very good input because once, because when we identify clearly the challenges, we would be able to give the proper recommendation. Is that right? Okay. And, okay. Well taken. Yes. Um, other other one is uh, the digital uh, literacy, Ill illiteracy. <laughs> no, that the problems that uh, digitally, uh, yeah, payment method is uh, very essential in our country's situation. Uh, next. Next time, uh, it is very important for us. Okay. The payment system. Okay. And they want software and yeah. mobile apps. Uh, software, mobile apps also. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Shanti. That's a very good point. Okay. Kunranjit said that he wants to talk. Uh, by the way, I want to welcome Father Freddy. Father Freddy, did I see Father Freddy? Father Freddy, say hello, Father. Yes, hi, Father. We have a very good, blessed afternoon. Uh, okay, since Father Freddy has just joined, Father, Father, um, what we are talking, I just want to repeat uh, in brief. Father, what we have just talked is about um, uh, the, the impact of uh, COVID-19 to three areas, impact to members. Can Father hear me? Impact to members, impact to employees of credit unions. We have to take care of the employees as well. And then impact to the institutions. So I would just like to uh, wait. I just like to put that this one in the slide first for the sake of Father Freddy. Yeah. Okay. 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 I will follow. I will follow the discuss. Uh, thank you. Uh, nice to meet you all. Uh, I'm happy to uh, to be invited in this, uh, this discussion. Okay. Thank you very much, Father. Um, so this is what what I just explained. Okay, uh, for the sake of Father Freddy, very quickly, is uh, because we prepared the Credit Union Business Solution, which is a response so response and suggest uh, sorry suggested response of credit unions to the impact of COVID. So the objective of this is a consultation with you guys. Uh, to validate the practicality of the business solution in response to the to pandemic. And we wanted to update the impacts of COVID-19 based on your actual experience, and then to identify tools that is needed to support the recommendations. Uh, be, be, this, after this, this document will be presented to the CEOs of our member organizations. So first of all, we talk about the impact of COVID, and these are the summary of the impact of COVID to the members. These are all in the documents and in the document, and it's explained in detail in the document what are those impacts to credit unions. So Shanti just mentioned that in the on the impact of the members, we need to highlight that most affected are the women who are entrepreneurs because they stop their business. And she was saying that we not need to emphasize on digital digitalization because there are many members who are actually digitally illiterate. Okay. okay. Thank you. Yes. Okay. So, uh, Kondanjit would like to now talk. Kondanjit, please. No, no sound. We are not. Hearing, but it's a. Kunranjit, your mic is mute. Can you un unmute? Kunranjit, your mic is mute. Can you unmute?
Kodanjit, your mic is un... Kodanjit, your mic is un... is mute. Hello, Fan. Lenny, you can yes. see the message from Mr. Ranjit. Yes, I cannot unmute his microphone. Can I? Yes, Mr. Ranjit, right here. You control his mic. No, I do not. <laughs> Fan. Can you hear me, Fan? Yeah. In 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 Okay. Can you hear me? Okay. Ah, good fun. Did you see? Did you see? No, I did not. In the end of the screen, did you? <laughs> Someone is controlling. No. No, I'm not controlling. <laughs> Maybe Mr. Ranjit can rejoining. So Doctor Doctor Uh, I am not controlling. Is there anyone controlling? Uh, actually, nobody. Yes, that is right. It should be him, you know. Okay, but while waiting for Kundranji, is there any comment on... Is there any other comment on the impact? Mom Len? Yes, Belle. Yes, ma'am, can we also add, because I'm, I'm seeing right now the document too, uh, it's part of the challenges because here in the Philippines, we categorize this because they realize that there are uh, winners and losers in this uh, pandemic. And part of which I didn't see in the document also, number one, here in the Philippines at least, that are affected by this uh, COVID-19 are the hospitality um, businesses like those who owns a small restaurants or or resorts and and um, small hotels also are uh, number one that are uh, that are affected by this uh, virus so restaurants uh, small hotels then of course we have the retail operations and you mentioned already here the recreational and uh, saloon. Can we just add my then restaurant because I'm going through the document, reading it, and I didn't see. Lenny, ma'am, your mic is mute, I think. Uh, well, so those recommendations that you are uh, telling now, is it possible to um, email or Put in the document so that we will not be missed. Okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> let me get a pen. I will, I will, man. Okay, all right. Okay, but anyway, I am also writing down, so we have to include those um, services like uh, small hotels and restaurants. Okay. All right, thank you. Kurnajit, are you okay now? Len. Len. Yes, B. Yes, uh, those in the transport, uh, like the drivers, etc., they are very much affected. Thank you, B. Yeah, and uh, so many of uh, credit union members are drivers, etc. And some are small uh, operators, likewise.
Lenny? Hello, yes. Ma'am Lenny? Yung addition, yes. Ma'am, for the uh, stop protection, maybe it's uh, a pan this pandemic, maybe it's a wake-up call for the board and management or the CEO of the cooperative because here in the Philippines, uh, the only the mandatory the mandatory requirements for healthcare. Maybe we need to set aside some fund, not only the retirement fund, but we need to set aside the health fund of the employees. Okay. Anything else? Uh, Kunajit, are you ready? Oh, why is uh, Miss Lenny? Yes. yes Thank you, Lenny. Yes. Uh, you made nice paper of impacts and response to pandemic. Uh, you you made a thing, three types of uh, uh, issues: members, employees, and institutions. Uh, we are worried about our members and also staffs. Well, uh, I agree with Santi. Most of the women are entrepreneurs and also farmers nowadays. They are farmers. So they cannot do uh, the supply or, um, uh, easily to, uh, due to COVID-19, this pandemic uh, time. So how to manage their business uh, easily? So also Balaf say uh, different type of uh, uh, product, we can make this also. We can think. Mm -hmm. So uh, most of the youth, uh, yeah, youth cooperators also are uh, very uh, hectic in this period. So we can make the youth cooperators for youth cooperators for different types of product also. So how to in, uh, include hair? Okay. Okay, um, I'm, I, I'm worried about women's and youth problem. Right. Okay, uh, Sarita, what we what we are thinking in that is that uh, because they lost their job. So yes. what, what we are thinking is that, you know, the same framework of mind as how do you call it? the same framework that we are thinking is yes. that we, we need to provide business development services yes yes for them uh, yes. This, this is now the time for us to really be serious on supporting yes. members on creating business because when we yes. create business we, yes, are, Lenny. we are creating employment not only yes. for the revenue, but we are also yes. creating employment for others but yes the, yes but, but so, this is the thing, in, in earlier thinking, yes. in earlier thinking, can you remember, we are thinking that our businesses should be export, should be things like that. But yes. I think we need to focus on the local market now. Yes, yes. I, I do not know what is your point on this, because earlier we are thinking, but yes. we can also have a global, but it has to be online marketing. Yes, online marketing. Yeah, we are we are start to doing that that type of marketing in but cooperative it, sector. Yes, exactly. But it is not sufficient. Yeah, but it is not sufficient for now. Yeah, but if it is online marketing, we need to think yes. the product should be of very high quality. Yes, yes, Lenny. Yeah. Okay. okay. Okay, yes, thank you. Definitely, it's it's going to be part of the document. Uh, the business development support will have to be will have to play a very important role in the bouncing back. Yes. But bouncing back the members. Yes. yes. Our advice is that if credit unions will continue to provide loan, it has to be to a to grow entrepreneurs to start mm -hmm. entrepreneurship and yes. to expand the uh, business of the members. Yeah. Okay. We, we NCVL team are discussing about this type of program uh, and we, we can input another topics also. Okay, great. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Very good. 
Akio will, be, Akio will be supporting our members on that particular aspect. Okay, okay. Thank you, Lenny. Okay. Are you ready, Kunanjit? What happened to him? Okay, is there any other suggestion or... Hello? Balla. Hello. Mr. Balla. Balla. Yes. Yes. You can help, you can help Mr. Ranjit. Oh, I think uh, there is a problem in mic or... Uh, yeah, problem in mic. Or he just needs to just drag his cursor uh, just bottom yeah. of the screen. So you, so you can write the message to Mr. Ranjit? No, no. Uh, somebody already wrote that message. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. There's a message. All are mute. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any other points? Anyway, uh, what is important is I have explained to you because the important thing in the... Yeah. Wait, I'll get his call. <laughs> yes, Kunanji. Controlling all the mic, so that is No, 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 nobody is controlling the mic. I am not controlling the mic. So why is I cannot open it? Um, no, Kunanji, you have to, you have to click the mic so that it will remove from, it will unmute. Yeah. Mic is, ma the microphone is in down. Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. So what happened? Uh, I do not know, Kuranji. Probably, probably your main, uh, your main sound is mute. Mm. Whoa. Nobody is controlling, I am not controlling. It, it, it's <laughs> <laughs> we are free, no? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can talk and maybe you, they can hear you here. Yes. Okay, they can hear me now. Can you yes, hear? Yes, we can hear. Yeah, we can hear. I do, but I want to explain. Uh, we are assuming that creditor has become liquidity. That is what uh, everybody talking. Uh, we can give this and this and that, and we can create a different product. Uh, they, they have an assumption. Mute. What happened? We can't hear him anymore, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, okay, Kunandi. Yeah, sorry. Okay. So, what I'm explaining, uh, we are creating now, Balaji asking, can we develop another product for COVID-19? Uh, my, my, at this point, I don't know whether, especially until we open the economy, uh, how long it will be continue. So I think immediately uh, we have to look at the liquidity for the uh, to withdraw the savings first. And once this is uh, they start their normal life, that that is the time. I think basically we can launch a program for agriculture farming at a home base. Uh, house economy more important, uh, providing some seed, smaller loan for at least food security, vegetable and other things. I think more practical way we have to consider rather creating the huge loan volume. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Sorry for all this. Uh, okay, no, no problem, Kunanjit. You are you can talk anytime now because I, I open the the phone. Okay. Okay. Thank you. okay. Uh, yes, Kunanjit has uh, mentioned a good point because right now you just imagine. Uh, credit unions, members of credit unions would like to access their savings. Uh, 
And, and so the money of the credit union is going out. Uh, there is no money coming in because we cannot mobilize savings and we cannot also uh, collect the loans. So yeah, I think that is the Federation has to be a very, very strategically ensuring uh, either allowing immediate liquidity loan to the primary society uh, because as long as they cannot say no to the member, if you start the no to members, that is a big issue. Yesterday, uh, whether credit union can survive because of the COVID-19. Uh, if the members are cannot withdraw their saving, if you're going to tell, sorry, our, our loan with money with the members, so we cannot give, then we will have a huge crisis we cannot control. So I think that most of the federation need to negotiate with the, their own national government or national bank, uh, having uh, some uh, loan uh, to providing for the liquidity loan next six month time, six month period. I think that has to be immediate response to the our all the primary society. I think um, national federation uh, need to launch a program liquidity loan for the each primary society. Uh, do you have that kind of experience where credit unions have been problem with liquidity? Yeah, Balari is saying yes. Balari is saying yes problem. How about the Philippines? How about in the Philippines? Do you have a problem in the Philippines where cooperatives will have a liquidity problem? They cannot withdraw the money of the members? In Philippines. Is there any issue for the, I uh, the They can give their services and they work as a telephone force ma'am. Oh sorry Rose, what was that again? They still give their loans, ma'am, but the staff is working on his skeletal force. Even the savings it it will uh, no problem with liquidity as of ano ma'am after this uh, one month of lockdown. Mm, we are also not listening uh, from Muff Cox. Uh, I think she's speaking, but we, are, we cannot, uh, we are not listening to uh, her. Uh, so Reka, she are you has talking? the same problem. Yes. So Reka, are you talking, are you saying something? Can you unmute your microphone? Uh, okay. Go Still no voice from, from her. Sareka, can you unmute your microphone? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes, Sareka. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, can you hear? Hello? Yes, Reka, go ahead. Yes, yes, yes Reka, go ahead. Namaste. Namaste, all of you. Uh, same problem you are facing in India and Maharashtra because of COVID-19. There are more than 50,000 COVID cases in India and in Maharashtra, 17,000 plus and 700 deaths. We are in completely lockdown last 45 days all shops and businesses are closed this is having effect on, on credit unions also credit union are facing many challenges also staff and working process all loans and recovery stop due to business shutdown mm. in all this is the situation mapcos is conducting video conference district wise in every district in Maharashtra 
for our members. In this video conference, we include cooperative departments officers. We are trying to give the best answer to all their and guidance in this situation and moral support to credit unions members. We are conducting also live Facebooks as well as the post moral and hello. Yes, sorry, hello. we can hear you. Yes, we can hear you. Yes. We are also having uh, having a special video conferencing with uh, evening with banking experts, cooperative laws experts, business experts, and CA and taxation experts. Also, they are the guide to every credit unions members, directors, CEOs. Our credit society has also made a donation of. COVID-19 like uh, mask, food packages, and in uh, liquid uh, in cash and in by checks. After uh, we are now we are thinking after the COVID-19 situation for credit unions, how to face how to face liquidity problem. We are talking our Apex Bank. MSC Bank, Maharashtra Cooperative Bank, and big societies in Maharashtra like Guldhana Urban to, to our liquidity problem solutions. We are talking solution. We are hope the best solution we are provide our members. And uh, some points. Uh, so Reka, your your mic is again mute. So Reka. Uh, so Reka, um, I want to add hello. Oh, yes. Hello. Yeah. I want to add some more points after some time, Lini. I want yes, to yes. add some more points after some time. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so Thank much, you. Reka. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Lenny? Yes, Father, please. Yes. Please, Father. Lenny, uh, yeah. Can you hear me? Lenny? Yes, Father, can hear you. Yes. Uh, I, I want to share a, a little uh, experience from our country. Um, I joined in the one forum with uh, the participant from uh, other cooperative, not from Credit Union. Uh, I joined with the 32 big uh, cooperative uh, in a group uh, linked with the cooperative uh, uh, department uh, ministry in Indonesia. And uh, from this group, I know very much that uh, many uh, big credit uh, cooperative uh, in Indonesia need uh, liquidity, need uh, more liquidity. So that is the reason uh, now uh, government through uh, cooperative ministry uh, support uh, LPDB to provide a uh, loan uh, liquidity for the big cooperative, for the uh, some of the cooperative in Indonesia. Um, uh, but for my experience in my credit union, especially uh, some credit union uh, which I, I accompany uh, men uh, uh, in last uh, 10 years, uh, we have no problem with liquid liquidity. Especially in the three credit union, uh, uh, fortunately, it's, uh, this is the time to uh realize that how to build the credit union uh before and now uh for example in my credit union sawan sibaru there is no problem with the delinquency delinquency is still five uh, five percent 
uh, there is no problem in growth of the sum of uh, items and also now this is the time for us to ask the member if they have uh, the difficulties they, they can go to the credit union and draw their emergency uh, saving uh, emergency saving or daily saving uh, that, that have they have prepared before uh, and second uh, we 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 have tried to make a community empowerment for them for a long time so uh, we have no big issue uh, of, of this uh, but uh, we try to accompany uh, the, the member who has no ability to pay uh, so uh, our staff uh, uh, make a uh, dex to receive a complaint this uh, uh, receive um, uh, I would say uh, if some uh, members uh, have a problem they can uh, come and we uh, we make a solution for them uh, it's uh, easy for us because we have uh, some uh, fun uh, fun uh, reserve uh, our net institutional capital also uh, near to 10 uh, uh, ten uh, of the asset and many many kind of uh, can support uh, uh, the the element in the uh, uh, management. So um, we also use digitalization to uh, sell the product and also the digitalization to pay saving to pay the ability to the, to pay the uh, to pay the credit and like this so um this is the time for reflect and one of my suggestion uh, to some of the another credit union not in my credit union if someone for example have uh saving uh 100 dollar 100 dollar for example and he take a loan for 200 dollar uh, 200 dollar so uh if they cannot pay 200 dollar uh i suggest that the, they have to come uh talking with the uh staff if he want to reschedule if not uh he or she can draw their uh, saving uh, for example 75 to pay uh 75 of their loan so uh, he only have a 125 dollar so from this they uh, uh, he make a reschedule and try to pay uh, according to the ability to pay there are many kind of this but uh, it is time for credit union to go uh, closer with the members to go closer and make a communication and make a empowerment uh, and also uh, how to make a community sell their product to its others, uh, make a community uh, uh, sharing. It uh, look like this. Uh, this is my sharing, Lenny. Thank you. Thank you very much, Father, for your sharing. Uh, I think I will go now to the recommendation because what Father said, we need to approach this the issue in the how do you call in the very basic way uh, father have already mentioned that uh, they their someone uh, subarong credit union has had no problem it's because that credit union is a uh, gold access <laughs> what i mean is that what i mean is that they have enough financial cushion that any any uncertainty will happen the credit union will still operate in the normal way even the members would not be able to pay their loans members or members lose their job members are prepared for that because they have a uh, emergency fund to that they can use whenever they do not have financial means or income uh, these are uh, basic things that you have talked to our members can you remember the 360 financial literacy for members if our recommendation is that all members of credit unions need to have six months uh 
in their saved six months uh, family six months uh, I, I mean family expenses in their savings equivalent to six months so uh, I will go to the to the recommendations for the members because father also have touched on that uh, thank you very much father for that sharing because I think if we only look at uh, the disciplines for the credit unions that we have been advocating to credit unions long time ago, there will be no problem for credit unions to uh, be able to stand to the test. Okay, I go to the recommendation of the, of, to the members. Um, with respect to the health of the members, I think this is something that we need to add to our service. Credit unions are doing member training. I think in the member training part of the credit union, we need to look to incorporate some lessons about how the members will care of themselves. Uh, we need to teach the members on the right diet because uh, members are very vulnerable if they are not healthy. So I think we need to have, we need to incorporate how to prevent to become sick, how to protect themselves by having the right uh, diet and, and health and uh, need to uh, in the future uh, to provide service to the members to improve members' health in terms of educating the members on the uh, how to take care of themselves. On the ability to pay of the members, uh, I think most of the credit unions are already doing this, moratoriums, renegotiations of loans, but these two recommendations will depend on the availability of cash flow of the members of the credit unions. And this will also depends on the uh, on the institutional capital, net institutional capital of the credit unions. We need to incorporate financial counseling. Uh, I have been talking about this, that when we renegotiate the loan, I think we need to start first on the approach of the 360 degrees financial literacy for members. Before we renegotiate the loans, we need to ask the members to tell us what is the statement of their net worth so that we would be able to understand what kind of financial difficulty the member would have. In our document, we have also incorporated the, the, the form on the statement of net worth for an individual members. The next approach is resiliency. Uh, we, we need to again revisit uh, the original purpose of credit union, build the culture of thrift and diligence among members, because this is the only way our members will be resilient in this financial crisis. Uh, they need to build their emergency fund because uh, this will help them to become self-sufficient and to have self-immunity. And then uh, Father already mentioned digital channels. Uh, we need to teach them on how to become digitally literate. It has to be part and component of our uh, training program for the members. I have came across this survey for the credit unions and uh, tell me if this is what you can hear from your members as well. In what way can your credit union support you and your family during this situation? The survey said, top three, they want to have increased uh, increase peace of mind. Provide me with the relief I need to get through this crisis. Number two, they, the members are expecting their credit union to build their hope to continually be there for me through guidance and solutions. And number three is to reduce my unnecessary stress, make it easy for me to access staff and tools when and how I need them. Yeah, so this is the recommendation for the members.
the credit union uh, uh, also need to be with the members in that case. <clears throat> Ma'am Len? Hello, Ma'am Len? Ma'am? Yes, uh, uh, would it be possible for the recommendation to add the um, mental health? Because, uh, of course, the issue of COVID is not just, uh, uh, how do you call it, medical or, or health issue, but it goes beyond that. It goes beyond economic, it goes beyond, especially psychological. Because probably after this, because of the abrupt change that we, we are uh, doing now, I'm sure people are, they don't know what they are thinking and it's difficult to adapt to changes. And probably if we go back to what we call the now normal or the new normal, it will be again difficult uh, in terms of adjustment. So probably if we can um, add also uh, part of counseling, uh, mental health in our counseling, Ma'am Len, in, as part of uh, the recommendation. Sure. We, yeah, we, we might not have probably the skill or the capacity inside the credit unions, inside our co-op, but I'm sure there are people from outside who are willing to help us how to um, come up or in, install in our credit unions uh, a system like Members Assistance Program, wherein uh, uh, part of that is the uh, mental health, the financial counseling, and also what you mentioned, the uh, physical counseling. And yeah. also, ma'am, uh, I, uh, I'm agree with Sir Ranjit on what he mentioned about, we need to strengthen after this, what, what they say here is the quick fix to teach the people how to do agriculture. Not, even if you don't have a big uh, space, you can do on your own. Even if you have a small space, you can just probably research and teach our members. There are many materials available in YouTube how to uh, do a pocket a garden or plant their own uh, vegetables. That's part of the, the, I remember the 100 ways to save money, to plant your own uh, vegetables and grow your own food. So maybe we can also strengthen that. And they mentioned here also, ma'am, to strengthen, apart from agriculture, they mentioned to strengthen also the logistics. So um, I think Sir Balab mentioned or somebody mentioned that uh, we can uh, provide uh, the, the food within our community because we have a restrictions in, in, in terms of mobility. So if we can arrange within the community and you can produce your own food and then maybe sell it to other, to your neighbors, that's also a good way for the members to earn money as well. Yeah, um, I agree with that, Bell. Definitely well taken uh, because uh, in Thailand, there is a, you, you've been to Thailand, you, you live here for one year. And even in this COVID, the Prime Minister of Thailand is emphasizing they are suggesting the people to observe the self-sufficiency economy. The self-sufficiency economy is that every household must be able to take care of their food. Uh, if only every household, if we can adopt this principle to our credit unions, there will be no problem in the future because everybody would be able to raise their own food and whatever is remaining that they cannot consume they will sell within the community that is exactly the self-sufficiency principle that is developed by the king of thailand yeah okay no problem bell that, that is very good because uh, right now it's so sad it's so sad that during the lockdown people think it's the responsibility of the government to feed them. That is very, very sad. It's not actually, people have to take care of themselves. This is our responsibility to ourselves. Yes. Can I, madam? Sure, right. Thank you, Kurnan, okay. you're, you're successful. <laughs> okay. I log on. Sorry for that all inconvenient. Even though we've been working computer last 15 years. So we had a problem. I log out two, three times. Uh, let's come to what everyone is saying very, very important. 
but uh, uh, Mabel also bring in the health matters and the psychology matter. Currently, my bear with my way of thinking, the credit union people are ordinary people, and they are having more trouble this time. And uh, when we are doing some planning stage, like a higher level, national level, we have to see reality of the primary level. I think my major concern, the primary cooperative managers and the board having a huge issue on number one is the liquidity. Uh, that is, we need to look at National Federation negotiating with uh, some bulk fund. I think uh, uh, India, or India, or what is it? In the, some banks. I don't know. Either uh, Father Pretty said in, in Indonesia, some bank agree to give. I think the, uh, we need to look at how the mechanism, I think too late, we have to look at very quickly because even uh, after next six months, my, uh, I, we are reading at least next six months going to be like this, but the government will not going to keep lockdown. Government will removing, depends on the country. Now Thailand is uh, uh, liberalizing, moving ahead. Uh, from the Asian country first. I think other countries also moving ahead, uh, but still they are not able to start 100% their economic activities, but they need a the cash. So, but those who have in a saving, they will come to bring back uh, the last cents. So that's what the credit union need ready. So then uh, we had to look into what kind of quick economy uh, rather going a long-term investment, we have to stop kind of decision for the long-term investment and we have to take a quick uh, liquidity loan for the members to start for the uh, what we call turnover, very quick turnover business opportunity we have to start. I think that's what we told about uh, the health matter, yes, I think credit union need to give the right direction. They can coordinate with the existing health care unit within the government sector. Uh, they will be the right institution coordinating work for the health and uh, physical and mental health activity. Uh, they should not involve their little money for spending for the healthcare services because they have to prioritize. I think this is, uh, I like to say, we like to take the one matter, Balavi, Mr. Balavi, uh, you have sent a matter about, uh, Mabel also sent the matter about uh, um, going the, our access branding. Uh, we talk within our management uh, this is not the normal operation time, so they have to deviate, uh, everything deviate from the standard uh, proceedings and standard of the operation. So in this situation, uh, Madam Lenny and me thinking uh, not to go for the auditing for this year uh, and we will like uh, suspend, we will not confirm uh, if they send back their financial report, uh, we may extend uh, if they don't have a, uh, any deviation from the critical, critical, critical indicators, we might be uh, extending the existing uh, branding to the another six month time. Uh, this is just two idea. Please share with us, Mr. Balavi, and maybe uh, Bing Kabal, maybe Sharon, maybe Mabel, uh, kindly share with us on this matter. Thank you. Once again, back to the our coordinator, Madam Lenny. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Pundanjit. All right. I think you touch on the you touch on the institution already, Pundanjit. Uh, because we are only talking about the members, so we are talking about the members. Uh, like, for example, I think the members do not have the education on, um, you know, how to how to actually have the right diet. 
I think this is the issue right now. The people who are usually get infected are the people with low immunity. So I think we need to create um, an, uh, a level of awareness among members on how to increase their immunity so that they would be able to protect themselves from the risk of any virus. It's not only COVID, but in the future, it's also for their benefit. The thing is that the credit union also need to ensure that there will be a healthcare system for the members. It's maybe health savings, or maybe credit unions need to look at the healthcare system that they can they can ensure that members have medical. Uh, I am not sure whether some credit unions are doing this because it is very important when the members do not have money to take care of themselves or access to medical care. It's also going to be a big problem for the credit union and for the members. So that is the point that uh, we recommend the credit union to revisit their services to their members because that is a very prime uh, of any individual. Okay, I'm going to now to go to the second one, which is the Right. Okay, I think we only have very few here. Uh, job security and morale. Uh, in our recommendation, uh, credit union need to ensure salaries paid, and we need to become transparent to our employees that uh, have, sometimes staff are talking among themselves and. It's unnecessary, unnecessary stress for this. Uh, we need to demonstrate flexibility, virtual team bonding, and also involve the staff in the relief operations because it's somehow uh, boosting their morale. Mm -hmm. uh, on the work from home challenges, there should be a guidelines on how the work from home, from home arrangement will be carried out. It's not just, okay, you go to your home and you work there, but there should be an appropriate policy prepared for that. And uh, credit union should also offer data plans because if they cannot connect to internet, it will be difficult for them to connect with one another. And then online conferencing and monitor outputs. Uh, Health protection, follow the health protocols at the office to, uh, when, whenever the, you have a skeletal force and provide provide PPEs for the staff. I uh, in the document it's all are uh, explained. Okay. Yes. Comment on that. Have we covered everything about the staff? And uh, the issues related to the staff during the COVID crisis now and moving forward. Okay, by the way, our document is something that uh, the credit union, the credit, credit union can uh, use to have their action plan to prepare their action plan on how to cope up with the COVID-19. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? You, you, do you have anything to add or? I think we need to study one more time and uh, I think we can uh, send our inputs uh, by email as well. Okay. So. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, that is good. Uh, Lenny, and most of the uh, most of the employer worry about their job uh, because uh, in Nepal there are so many employees are working in cooperative. Uh, uh, I heard 
in one cooperative uh, maybe uh, 2 5000 uh, members are there and uh, and that cooperative 100 uh, employee are working there including collector and uh, uh, full time staff so they are worried about that how to pay the money for employee and how to manage their some type of crisis are there here i heard yes okay thank you very much sarita um can you remember this is the reason why if the credit union is not following the standard they will have a difficulty yes yes yeah. can you remember what we are telling yes. the yeah, ratio yeah, I, the is not, is there. success of the credit union is not the number of stock that you have uh, yeah proportionate to the ratio of the members that's being served because everyone should be very effective and efficient yes yes yeah okay because i this is the now the role of the national federation because yeah. we have to approach case to case now mm-hmm. uh, i think the national federation uh, including the ncdl napsco napsco yeah napco we need to we need to classify our credit union members mm-hmm. because the credit unions who are following the standards mm-hmm. we don't want too much because they are the credit union that, that do not have that do not have cash flow problem or liquidity problem yes. the very good example is the credit union of father freddy because the credit union of father freddy obviously is following the standards that we we are actually teaching them but for the credit unions who do not follow the national federation advice that is the credit union that we need to watch that is the cooperative that you need to watch i i think in that co also it's the same in pfcco is also the same but for those who are applying the standards that we are we are teaching we don't we less we do not worry much of them because they know what to do can i make some comment kulani kulani okay uh this is i am going to talk to miss sarita case presented 5000 members with the 100 employee i take this opportunity to see this called the bad management and then it cre- created the big uh, crisis because their operations is not volume i don't know how long they have been doing such a thing i think this is the good opportunity whoever member i date sir uh, nat um, napskun or ncbl you need to as a senior management you have to uh make a issue and recommendation yes they cannot keep such a law they have to make a standard and they have to increase the number of members 5000 to at least uh, mm-hmm. uh, i'm not recommending to lay off the staff because it's a crisis time yes. and you need to bring them and prepare the different plan uh yes. i i think we should not my point is a we should not mix this is a very specific crisis for the health pardon the issues should not uh, put into together with the bad management practice yes. certainly bad management practice has a created more difficult to credit union to survive yes. i think that has to be very clear yes thank yes you. yes thank you mr anjit thank you yeah Exactly. Can I talk? Yes. Miss Lenya. Sure, Shanti. <laughs> yeah, I'm also agreed with uh, Ranjit sir and uh, I also think that the community based and member based uh, cooperative have no uh, not very uh, difficulties in those days. Yes. Yes. No? Uh like a uh, sit in city areas uh this type of corporate uh, who are not uh, mentioning in member base and community base these types of types of cooperatives are maybe goes in problem <laughs> yes 
but we have uh, in uh, uh, rural area a uh, remote area uh, we have member base community base and nowadays also uh, the limited time limited uh, um, uh, uh, staff we are opening the uh, sacos and the members uh, um, saving habit also is good they save their money in sacos only we are opening in uh, one week in three days only three hour only and only three staffs only we are running in our sacos but it is good that they are they uh, their saving habit is very good yes. in our area <laughs> yeah thank you congratulations shanti so that is why uh, the well run credit unions uh, do not have much problem uh, during this yeah. situation okay yes, yes okay then i will go ahead with the last one yes Okay. All right. This one is also part of the document. Yeah. So um, I do not know whether uh, some credit unions have set up a crisis management committee. So in our document, uh, we will also be providing the terms of reference, terms and reference of. Uh, the crisis management committee because it is important to have this so that there are people who are really focused on uh, the immediate action that they need to do during the crisis. Uh, legal compliance is another area which is adherence to regulate regulators and local government guidelines and uh, work with the federation to advocate regulatory support like for example, the credit union essential service. And there is also another advocacy that we need to do, which is uh, during the crisis, there's a loan portfolio that has been uh, de de definitely affected. And uh, we need to know the guidelines on the reporting system for that, because this is an extraordinary uh, delinquency. In terms of land lending, I think Konajit has already uh, mentioned this. Uh, we suggest and we, we recommend uh, to avoid granting new loans if they will create more indebtedness to the members. Uh, credit unions might be lending now to the members, but if they are lending for consumption, it looks like it's very dangerous. Then we need to uh, I need your your experience on this, on how can we actually manage this risk. But the credit union should lend to support businesses and farmers. Uh, there was one uh, suggestion. I do not. I cannot remember who mentioned that because uh, we need also to ensure that uh, during the lockdown, farmers are able to sell their commodities. I think we need to make a linkage or, you know, in, in ensure or strengthen the value chain within the credit union so that uh, the produce of the members would be able to market in their local community. I think it was Mabel, Mabel's suggestion. Okay. On the portfolio quality, the credit union need to stop the scenario, scenarios on the number of members and loan amount affected by the crisis. This is where uh, we need to we need to actually look into who are the members who lost their job, who are the members who are farmers, who are the members who are uh, in the entertainment business. Who are the members who are providing services that they have stopped their income because of the crisis? So we need to look at who are these members because their loan portfolio will definitely be, or loan accounts will definitely be uh, affected. 
So the credit union need to need to have this kind of Excel sheet uh, to be able to understand who are the members who are really affected by uh, the COVID, COVID crisis. And we will be able to understand the, the amount and the risk that the credit unions are facing. Because with that amount, with that, uh, with understanding the, the loan accounts that have been uh, in bad shape, credit unions would be able to uh, uh, understand the, the fix or the solution to that. Whether it's going to be a moratorium or renegotiation of loans. Okay. Uh, I have already mentioned that on the savings, I think financial counseling is very important. Financial literacy training has to be again relaunched in every credit union. Uh, it has to be a mandatory. We recommend that it has to be mandatory after the COVID crisis that members should build their emergency fund equal equivalent to at least six months of family expenses on the savings. They cannot touch these savings, not unless there is a crisis that is similar to this. Uh, uh, about the liquidity management, uh, we will also include in the document a format on the cash flow projection, which is based on the scenario analysis. Okay, so this is uh, what is the content of our, um, our document our credit union business solution. Len? Okay. Yes, Bing? Uh, Len, on the disaster preparedness, that's the first item. Uh, I think uh, more than the more than the credit, uh, what you call the disaster management committee, we, uh, there's a need for a credit union to have the business continuity program or business continuity plan. So uh, I think that, that is one one program right now that we're doing uh, to our credit unions to help them come up with a BCP or the business continuity plan. And then uh, in there is the the committee. Okay, being well taken, being. Um, so right now the credit, okay, what, what we were thinking is that credit unions the fact is that the credit unions do not have at all a business continuity plan. Am I correct, B? Yeah. What you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Uh -uh. Okay, it's but not... Right that now we see that it is a requirement for them to have a business continuity plan, continuity plan for any event, crisis, or disaster that comes they need to up, up immediately having that uh, concrete plan or program. Okay, great. So that means even even uh, this business continuity plan is not at all existing. Am I correct? Uh, in most cases, yes, maybe, but some are starting to have one. Okay, okay. So then in our tool, uh, we need to also include some format or what should be the content of the business continuity plan. Am I correct, Bing? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, great. Thank you, Bing. It's not only the, the disaster management committee, but it's the total business continuity plan that we will include in this document. Okay. Father said that he's back. Any more? Any more suggestion? Because we wanted to hear from you uh, the tool that we need based on the document that we have given you. Uh, and, yes, Bing. Uh, in the uh, new normal, I think uh, online meetings may be allowed or what? Uh, so that we can come up with a policy on e-conferencing for the institution. I think we have made one. I'd like to submit that to you to improve on it. 
Yeah, yeah, we we, yes. we try to develop one. So I, I'll 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 forward that to you so that you can look at it. Huh? Okay, thank thank you so much. So we do not need to reinvent the wheel. Yeah. If you have if you have already a format, you can submit to me, and then we will recognize that this is contribution of uh, Narco being. Yeah, since you are going to submit that, I am going. We are going to. We are going to uh, share that with all the member organizations, and we will definitely acknowledge that this is contribution from NACO. Yeah, yeah, uh, but you have, still you still have to because I'm not sure whether you, know, you may be able to improve on that. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, okay, sure, sure, no problem, B. Any other things? Uh, we talk about the fine to relaunch the 360 degrees financial literacy. Uh, we have a document on the 360 degrees financial literacy. We also have some document, it's called a handbook on financial literacy. Do you think that would be sufficient to, to relaunch? Uh, can we come up with a model or standard product on contingent savings or emergency savings that can be used across by credit unions. Okay. Okay, uh, sure. Can I plan yes. it? Yes, Commander. Uh, with your permission, I think this is uh, especially I am talking to uh, Madam uh, Binkabal and Madam uh, Mabel. Uh, <laughs> since uh, you are very much high tech. I try to see a financial literacy, a kind of create a kind of uh, how do you call it, cartoon, a smaller video which can be downloaded from the uh, some uh, called uh, easy way to people to see. We can upload to your website, a primary credit union website or apps. So rather uh, coming to the people to uh, attending the physically, uh, I think during next my guarantee next six months, one year, it's not possible to people to come together, have a meeting. It is a prohibited to the due to the health reason. So I think if possible, maybe uh, if Mabel and then Binkabal, your technical team with the IT people, if you can look for animation, uh, financial literacy, a new version with the technology, I think that's going to be a very popular program during this period. People can watch and enjoy at home also while they stay. This is my counter proposal to uh, NATCO to take the this matter and we will be really helping. I can do kind of uh, script writing. I can do uh, maybe if you can create uh, some animators. I think uh, and Mabel has a right hand or left hand person is a uh, uh, animator creator. I think we can do something more concrete. This is my proposal. Thank you. Mabel say something. <laughs> Yes, yes, don't run, Jeep. We will try. We will do our best. My bell says something. Yes, sir, we will. It's only Powtoon. We will yeah. buy the, the app. Then we can convert it into a uh, cartoon. Yes. Go uh, run, Jeep. Give us the script. Yeah. 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 Okay, okay, okay. Correct. Okay. Sure, sure. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay, very good. Uh, yeah, that's good. That can um, that can be done by our youth team, uh, Lenny. Right, right. Okay, right. Technology is a, is a cartoon. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but but uh, it is very good because uh, people has a very wrong notion about savings. Savings is not only money, <laughs> you know. Because, like for example, right now uh, when you conserve your energy, you save money. When you yeah. when you eat vegetable, you eat, you serve, save money because vegetable is cheaper than eating meat. But when so, you eat, when you eat meat, you become more unhealthy. You become you become uh, how do you call? It? You become more susceptible to disease. 
Yeah, usually Miss Lenny and me sometimes make a job. Then she go to the shopping. I say, refer to the financial literacy number one savings. So then she's not going to buy anything and come back. <laughs> I remind to her and then she says, oh, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> now, there are many things that we need to educate our society. Um, I think I think the first thing is we need to educate the staff of the credit union so then they, they are passionate. First of all, it has to start from ourselves. <laughs> Okay, is there anything else on that? Nice. Uh, but I think that, yes, B. This is a great document to start with. Yeah? <laughs> yes, thank you thank so you much. So, yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. We are still building and I think there's a lot of inputs from you today. Anything that you think uh, will be, uh, how do I say, uh, anything that you need to add because I'm sure that you do not have enough time to read all the entire document. We want this document to be out to your members as soon as possible, maybe definitely this month. So you can send it out to your members so then your members will feel, oh, okay, our National Federation is doing something. I think we can, I will, we will also include, our plan is also to include an action plan after the document, so then they can pick what are the things that uh, they can uh, implement. And also we need to include KPIs and include the books. Yeah. But your input would be very, uh, very much appreciated. Mm. Anything else? Okay, the thing is that in terms of resiliency, uh, I have two, two highlights. Members have to be resilient. First, they need to be able to prepare for emergencies like this by having emergency fund. Uh, next is made, they need to take care of their health to become resilient, uh, to be able to, to, to stand this kind of pandemic. Second, the credit union need to have financial caution. They need to follow the safety and soundness that we are teaching to them. Uh, because the credit unions that have followed the safety and soundness, they definitely, they are very resilient. And number three is that digitization is very important. To, to use digital channels in the credit union. So particularly in the Philippines, you have Kaya payment platform, but uh, most of the credit unions are, have not taken this as an opportunity for them to better serve their members. Yeah. Yes, anything else? For taking. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, fun. Can we? Can everybody open their their video, their camera, so then we can take a group picture? Yeah, group picture. Yes. Can everybody do on screen? Yes, and we will have a group picture. Fun. Can you? Can you have? How do you? Fun, I cannot see. Come on, I cannot see your pic, your video. Come on. Come on and fun. Come on. Run also. <laughs> okay, so who is taking the picture? I don't know how to take the picture. Okay. Fun, are you taking picture or come on? Yes. Okay. Wait, why I am not in the picture? <laughs> why am not there? I do not know. But on my screen, you are in the picture. Huh? Yes, fine. Okay. 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 Are you doing it? Yes, yes. Many are leaving. 
Quick, One, many of you. Okay. What did I want? Okay. Okay. Done. Okay. Done. Fun. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much for your input. Yes. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you, Lenny. Oh, thank you. Another picture. Sorry, was not in the picture. Oh yes. Sorry, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Yes, Rekha, can you open your video? We are taking a picture. Okay, fun. Take another picture. Yes. Okay. Wait, wait. <laughs> Rose. <laughs> okay, Rose. Okay. Everybody, please. Yes. Smile. Smile. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, thank you very much. And then uh, I'm waiting for your. I do not know whether I got all your inputs, but uh, I have listed it down. But it would be very nice if you can send me a short, short email so that we will not lose any information from you or suggestions. And thank you, thank you so much. Thank you and bye bye. Thank you, Lenny. Thank you very much. Be careful for you. Bye-bye.